Is the raw food diet dead in Scotland? Well, I would obviously say um, no, although it's not, do <laughs> not doing amazingly. It's not like everyone's doing it or into it. But we have a, a bunch of people who are still interested in it, who are still aspiring towards it. There was about four, there was at least four of us that went to Woodstock last year. Uh, four Scottish guys. Uh, one of them lives right near my house, Matthew. Uh, Brian's not too far away, unfortunately. Andy Cowan lives in Japan, so that's, <laughs> that's not great. Um, so yeah, I think the, the raw food diet generally everywhere, it goes up and down. This is what a friend of mine said. It goes up and down in terms of popularity and new people come in and then maybe there's quite, quite an inspiring person comes into the scene and all of a sudden loads of people get into it, like a David Wolfe character or someone that becomes a big marketing genius kind of thing and loads of people come into it and, and want to try it out. And, and then a lot of people just don't don't last or go back to what they do or, or whatever. Um, and obviously Fred Patnod wrote an article about the raw, is the raw food diet dead and you know that caused a little bit of, uh, uh, I don't know, a little bit of controversy I guess. <laughs> Various people uh, did videos about how they were still raw or whatever or they weren't or whatever. So, I, but I really think that now we have a growing community of people who have a really good solid education now in how to uh, persist on a raw food diet and how to thrive on a raw food diet and with events like Woodstock and the other 811 festivals um, and the various educators who are getting out there on YouTube um, the education and the simple education of it which is really you know getting enough calories from sweet fruits um, green leafy salads and, and things like that um, and and all the other aspects of health uh, and keeping your fat percentage low and avoiding things like that. Um, with with all that information it's I, I just see that it's going to grow and grow again and it'll grow solidly because there'll actually be people who know what they're doing, can keep doing it, can sustain it um, and are living healthily and enjoying it and I think maybe in the past too many people were experimenting with different things they were given different messages by different people and now a lot of the people who were given a less clear message or uh, were recommending things that weren't really backed by science have maybe are kind of moving out <laughs> of the raw food movement now and have, have moved away from it and and the people like say Doug Graham, um, Don Bennett and uh, you know the people basically at Woodstock, Anne Osborne, um, these kind of people who have been into it for a long time and have kept going, obviously uh, Rosalind Graham as well. These kind of people, Dr. Lockhart, <laughs> just think of the names. Um, these people have, have kept going and they found something that worked and they kept, uh, and they've been basically pre preaching and promoting the same thing for years and teaching the same the same information because um, the science doesn't really isn't really going to change anytime soon. You know, human body isn't really going to change. The food isn't going to change hugely. So really, we kind of know what we need to do now. Um, I've got a fruit luck in Glasgow that I put on. It's meetup.com/glasgow-fruitluck, uh, and so if anyone's around anywhere, you, you can uh, add yourself to that and and come up sometime. Um, what else? Yeah, this, this. I just think there's a there's a growing movement, but we need to all contribute to that and be part of that, and maybe be a vocal part of that. Um, and yeah, I, I I really think, especially the information on fruit needs to really get out that people need to be eating their um, fruit as the 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 main source of their calories, and that fruit is a meal and not just uh, you know, a snack, and that it's our the food that we're biologically designed to eat, the best digesting food, the best for athletic performance, um, best for all sorts of performance and recovery, and all that stuff. So, this information will I, I can't see it not going mainstream. You know, with the amount of people who are positively promoting it, the amount of uh, intelligent and successful people, you know, successful people that are getting success in in athletics and stuff that are doing it. Um, so, uh, 
Yeah, so the, the, the raw food diet, it's not dead anywhere, it's not going to die, it's, it's the truth, it's, <laughs> it's part of the truth of just being an animal, um, it's going to continue to grow, and now I feel like it's going to grow uh, fully to fruition, if you like, um, and really reach its potential as a movement. And really kind of change society to the point that people won't even be able to remember a time when fruit wasn't just the accepted, you know, number one food that, you know. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's how it's going at the moment. Um, what I'd like to say to people is uh, this Google Plus thing and this YouTube thing, I can't really reply to a lot of people's comments. So usually I would reply to everyone because I don't get a lot of <laughs> comments. So it's nice to get comments and to reply to people. I really like how I meet people on, on YouTube and stuff like that. I also want to clarify from the last, from one of the videos I did starches in the 8 10, 10 diet, I maybe came across a bit like hating on the, like I was a hater of the Rotel 4 program and stuff. Um, and I don't really want to come across like that. I still think that's excellent if uh, if people are coming from whatever that standard American and, or standard uh, UK diet, sucked diet. <laughs> if anyone's coming from that and going to Russell Four, I mean that's that's amazing. But uh, I really hope that people will promote the fully the fully raw eight one one diet, and then people can choose if they want to do if they want to eat cooked food and things as well. Um, but uh, I'm certainly a huge fan of uh, Durian Rider and Freely and. They're a huge inspiration to me. Really great people that I've I've met them, so I'm not like against them or anything. So yeah, that was just to clarify a few things. So fruit is the truth. Follow the fruit. That's it, and I'll see you soon, probably at a festival sometime in Thailand, somewhere we'll probably connect someday. Bye.